Princess, and we'll talk about Princess Anne instead, slightly more controversial perhaps. She's never been afraid of stirring things up a bit. Well, she has certainly done that with an interview she's just given to the BBC's Countryfile programme. She said, if we want to control badgers, the most humane way of doing it is to gas them. Well, is that right? Professor Rosie Woodruff from the Royal, from the uh, Zoological Society of London is uh, on the line. Good morning to you. Good morning. We did try it, didn't we, in the 70s? Uh, we did, yes. Gassing badgers was government policy in the 70s. And if you go back to reports of the time, they're full of frustration about how it just wasn't very effective. Uh, sets would be gassed and then opened up again by the badgers again and again and again. And the problem seems to be that badger sets are built, guess what, to hold warm air in and keep cold draft out. Mm. So it's very difficult to achieve lethal concentrations of gas. And sub-lethal concentrations of gas were inhumane. That's why ministers banned gassing in the 1982. But it, but it was a different sort. We used cyanide then, didn't we? Or they used um, cyanide of some sort then, That's didn't they? Correct. Yes, yes. They used, they, they used cyanide at the time. And obviously the reason this was being done was to try and control TB um, in... Um, you know, in, in cattle, and TB is a terrible problem for farmers and farming families. Unfortunately, as we know from a report that was published yesterday, uh, catching and killing badgers above ground um, is very challenging. It was Those pilot curls were ineffective. They no. were massively expensive. Um, it's tempting to think that it might be easier to kill badgers when they're basically a sitting target underground. But it turns out from reports in the 70s that it's just not that straightforward. Well, not even if you use another gas. Don't they talk about carbon monoxide? They do talk about carbon monoxide, and certainly there are rumours of, of, of farmers trying to do this, um, you know, on the quiet, uh, using a tractor exhaust. But I think that that's something which, um, you know, is, is potentially um, not very effective and um, and potentially inhumane. So, what's the best? What's the answer? Well, I think the answer has to be something which, you know, which is is humane uh, and which is more like vaccination of badgers. We know that vaccination of badgers is a very promising approach. Very There's expensive. Hundreds well, um, not necessarily. There's hundreds of, of wildlife lovers willing to do it for free. It's, it's actually cheaper than culling because oh. it doesn't require any policing um, and, the, and people will come forward you know, offering, offering to help to do it. What we don't know is how effective it, it, um, it, it could be in controlling cattle TB. It's very promising. And what we need are trials of vaccination instead. Right. Well, thanks very much for that, Professor Woodruff.